Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at Route LLM. Route LLM enables you to route traffic between two models to test out the cost and how they perform. More often than not, the biggest challenge when creating these LLM powered applications is the cost. You cannot really tell whether an API based model would be sufficient or you should be using the open source local model. The hard truth of our industry at the moment is that the quality of API based models such as OpenAI's GPT 4.0 is much much better than the open source models even if we talk about Llama and there are various others. That is why maybe in your application you have some very important prompts and then there are some regular run of the mill prompts. You want to send those very important prompts to GPT-4.0 but at the same time you don't really want to send the standard run of the mill common ordinary prompts to GPT-4.0. You want to save cost and you want to send those prompts, the standard ordinary ones to maybe local models running by Olama. This is what you can achieve by installing and running this route LLM utility locally. It is a tool, it is a framework for serving and evaluating LLM routes with the help of this router. There are various other features too. So we will be installing this route LLM locally and then we will see how we can route the traffic between OpenAI's LLM and then between Olama's LLM. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest and quickest tool to run large language models locally. Just search the channel with Olama and you should be able to find hundreds of videos on Olama and it's quite simple to install and use. Okay, so before I move forward, let me introduce you to Mast Compute. Mast Computes are sponsoring the GPU and the VM for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So let's go back to our route LLM. Now for the purpose of this video, I am going to, to first up um, comparison of OpenAI's model and the Olama's based Llama 3 model. And you can run any model on Olama. All you need to do is to just pull it through Olama pull command. But for the purpose of this video, I will be just comparing these two. And you know that if you need to use the OpenAI's model, you would need an API key, which is a paid option. So you would need to go to platform.openai.com and you need to grab your API key from there. If this is the first time you are doing it, just drop in $10 on platform.openai.com and you should be able to use that key for a long time if you are not a heavy user. Okay, so that's said and done. Let me take you to my local VM where I am running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy mass compute as you can see here NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen and as is the case, I always try to use Conda to create a virtual environment that is to keep everything separate from my local system. Let me clear the screen and let's create that Conda environment. Let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done, done and activated. Let's also git clone the route LLM repo and I will drop the link to it in video description. As you can see that I'm just simply using the familiar git clone command. Let me actually make it smaller. There you go, much better now. Okay, so let me run it. That is done. And now let's CD to it. Let me clear the screen. And now let's install all the prerequisites. And I'm just using pip install and serving and eval. So let's wait for it to get installed. Shouldn't take too long. And everything is installed here. Let's clear the screen. And now let's set our OpenAI's API key. So all you need to do is to just replace this portion starting from SK with your own key. I'm sorry, let me fix my screen. Now it's better. So you just need to 
specify your OpenAI's API key like export OpenAI underscore API underscore key is equal to your key here. So let me set my key here and clear the screen. I have set my key. Now I already have Olama installed and I already have Llama 3 model here as you can see. If you don't have it already just do Olama pull Llama 3 and it is going to pull and install the Llama 3 model locally and it will run it too. So I, as I already have it, so I'm not going to run it again. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to route the traffic between Olama and OpenAI, all you need to do is to run this command and you see how easy that is. So what is happening here? We are just calling a Python. We are just using OpenAI server, which we already have set the key. And then this is our router, which we are using with the route um, LLM. And then the alternate model is this which is running on localhost 11434 that is the default address of olama and then this is a config which we are using that is example which is present in their github repo which we have just cloned and the weak model we are specifying llama 3 if you are using any other model from olama just replace this name with this, that model so let me run it and it has started it and you can see that now this router the route llm is running on our local host at port 6060 so what now what you need to do is in your application whatever llm application you are using you need to point that application to this address whenever you are making an api call and that api should be open is compatible and i will also show you so what would happen is that instead of calling the models provided directly your application will call this router this router will check your application and then on the basis of your provided instruction it is going to route the traffic let me show you how let me so i will just keep it running here i won't cl close this terminal i will open another terminal and then we will run our application from there so here i have switched to the same server but in another terminal now I already activated my existing Conda environment by just doing Conda activate RL. Let me now fire up my Python interpreter and you can use it in any other um, code editor if you like. Let's first import the OpenAI which we already installed when we installed all the prerequisites. And then we need to initialize the client to this route LLM. And we are using the OpenAI's compatible API structure. We are providing the base URL to our localhost 6060 where our route LLM is running and then for API key we are specifying no API key because it's not required. Client is initialized. Next up, let's do the chat completion. Now here what we are doing it, we are using this client which we have just initialized. We are doing chat completion just in open AI style. For the model, we are specifying this thing router dash mf dash point one one six and then this is our prompt template so this is a very usual one the thing of interest is this route mf point of one one six what exactly is this value so this is basically the cost threshold that controls the trade-off between cost and quality for routing and it depends on both the router and data set and you can easily get it uh, by running a command which i will show you shortly now for the purpose of this example, we are using 0.116 as the cost threshold to get approximately 50% of queries routed to GPT-4 and then rest of the lot will go to Olama and you can adjust it and I will show you shortly. So let me first run it. It has finished running. Let's print out the response of this. And there you go. So there is a response for our choices and then it has given us that um, how many tokens it took and then what were the completion tokens, prompt tokens and then it used FP Lama for this. So now here it's a very very simple one so instead of going to the GPT-4 it has just gone to Lama 3. So you were not charged anything for this one and then it is also telling you uh, what exactly the prompt response is amazing now i was as i was saying that if you want to know what should be the value of this let me show you how you can do that for example your goal is to 
send 50% of the traffic to OpenAI's model. So all you need to do is to run this command that Python 3-m router LM calibrate threshold and then you want to the strong model means GPT-4, OpenAI is one and weak model is Llama 3. So when you run it, it is just going to, okay, I need, sorry, uh, I would, we would need to run it from the Python, uh, sorry, from the terminal, not from here. Let me run it. Now it is going to give us the answer now. Uh, okay, sorry, I am just, just need, I need to be in that directory. My apologies. I'm, I think I'm still early morning. There you go. Now it should work. It's good that I'm just doing the troubleshooting live. So this is going to tell, there you go. So now it is, what it is doing basically, it is just checking the publicly available data set to get the calibrated value. So this is a calibrated value. Now, this is a very important part. It's very flexible. You know your data best. You need to calibrate this threshold that on the basis of your data set, how much traffic do you want to send to GPT-4 and how much do you want it to send to local model? So you will go to that config file and I will show you shortly and you will specify your data set, local data set. And then when you will run this command, it is going to calibrate that on the basis of your own data set. Now let's check what exactly this file looks like. So maybe I will just clear the screen and then I will open it here. So this is, you see, so this is a data set they have specified. They are using arena battle data set. Instead of using this, you can simply go and then use your own data set. Just replace it here in the hugging face uh, style, repo name, your data set name. And then this is a GPT-4 one. I would suggest just keep it here. And then you can, um, Again, same thing for the embedding. If you want to use that in a strong model, you can also customize it. They have specified GPT-4, but if you want to use GPT-4, GPT-3.5, you can use that, or you can even swap it. If you want, you think now you want to use local model as Llama 3 or anything, use that one, but I would highly suggest use this GPT-4 or Gemini or even uh, the mixed troll one. By default, if you want to specify it, it is going to check this one out for GPT-4 for strong and mixed troll one for the weak one. And this is again an API based and I think they are pointing to any scale, which is another API model provider. And then <clears throat> these are some of the checkpoints which you can ignore for now. And this is where they are going to put their own model, which is the router LLMs. And this is the, the router which we were also checking out. So this is, in my opinion, all you need to do is to just replace this data set with your own data set and, you and this one and you should be good to go. Nothing else needed to be done. So all in all, I believe are real good stuff. I really like the way they have created it. And because it is OpenAI is compatible, so you can simply go and embed these lines which I just showed you in your application and you can also find them on their github repo if you can't let me know i will point you to it so that is all you need to that is all the change you need to make in your application and then this will be router enabled and then you can easily route the traffic to your strong model and your weak model so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it it was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it thank you